Okay, the digital life hack, it just got better because coming up after it, hear one of the most engaging calls from my weekend show. It's called The Kim Commando Show. Yeah, funny how that works. Do you get calls from unknown numbers? Don't answer them. Instead, do this insider tech trick. I'm Kim Commando for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Accelerate your AI workload today. Take a free test drive at oracle.com slash Kim. One in five Americans lost money to scam calls last year. That's why it's smart to not answer calls from numbers you don't recognize. Let them go straight to voicemail. If it's important enough, the caller will leave a message. The downside, you might miss an important call, say from your doctor, who may not leave a message. That's why you need to know about visual voicemail. You can read what the caller is saying as they record their message. If you have an iPhone with iOS 17 or later, be sure to turn on visual voicemail in the phone settings. If you have a Google Pixel, you can get this too. Just turn on call screen in the settings. For Samsung owners, the feature is called Smart Call. Now you can decide in real time if the phone call is worth answering. Get tech smart in five minutes or less every single morning with my free newsletter. Sign up right now at getkim.com. All right, just as I promised, here's a fantastic call from my show that you've got to hear. Danny in Pensacola, Florida. Hi there, Danny. Well, uh, after 77 years, I didn't think I would uh, ever find myself in a position that I would be doing the types of things that I'm doing. So, uh, But I'm putting together a newsletter each month for our VFW, and uh, it's overwhelming, really, with the number. We have 300 members uh, in the VFW, and we have about 300 auxiliary members, and this newsletter needs to go out to each of those each month. And currently, I have the names in a... Uh, uh, a word sheet that are broken down in, in uh, like 50 names, and I send those out 50 at a time, 50 at a time, 50 at a time. But then also every month I need to add and subtract members. Uh, so, you know, it's very time-consuming, and it's not very efficient. No, you're doing it the wrong way, Danny. You are. <laughs> Come on. Well, well, I'm an old goat, so... You know. No, it's okay. You know what? Sometimes it's like, if it's not broken, why fix it? But this is broken, and you're going to love me forever when I tell you uh, how you're going to be doing this the new way. Uh, there are mailing okay. there are mailing services out there. One's called MailChimp, another one's called Constant Contact. And these are services that you can hit one button, and then it will send out your newsletters out. And you said you had two groups, is that right? That's correct, yes. Okay, so we're just going to say group one and group two, okay? So you're going to sign up over at domailchimp.com because how many people do you have? Uh, 300, okay. well, actually a total of 600, but uh, the two groups are 300 okay. each. All right, so, you know, this is free, I think, up until until you hit like 1,000 or 5,000 or some number like that. And so you you sign up at MailChimp, and then you create whatever you want to mail out. And they have templates, or you can upload your own graphics, your own images, or whatever you want, logos, things like that. So you're going to use their templates and then put all your messages in there. Now, you mentioned that you had this in a Word doc, or is it in a, in a spreadsheet or something, the names? Uh, well, the, the names, I can get them either in a, in a spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet, or a, a comma-separated uh, okay. uh, format. So well, Yeah, MailChimp, as well as Constant Contact, they will allow you to import a CSV file, which is that Excel spreadsheet, okay? And, okay. And so you're going to upload your, your all your names, and you can have the two groups, one and two. Uh, and then you have, then you design whatever you want to send out to them via email. Uh, and then you put a subject to it, a from line, and you have to have a mailing address at the bottom. And, you know, it'll kind of walk you through because they want to make sure you're not a spammer. Sure. And, and then uh, no longer will you have to go ahead and remove people if that email address is invalid or anything like that. Because you're going to have a way for them to unsubscribe if they don't want it anymore. Uh, they can change their email address as well as on a website or in another email or however you want to distribute this or at a meeting at the VFW, is you can say, if you want to sign up for our free newsletter, go to our website. And there you're going to have a sign-up form for the newsletter. So this way you're getting out of adding and removing people, right? Uh, okay, great. Which, which is going to save you just a ton of time. Um, one thing is that I want you to keep an eyeball out on the open rate and the click rate. Because this, this will tell you how well that you're doing. And you can also uh, put trackers on if you, want, if you want them to click to a form on a website uh, for them to, say, sign up to volunteer or do something. 
is that you can put tracking codes on there so you'll know, okay, I sent it out to uh, 300 people. It, we had 278 people open it, and we had 30 people actually click to the website to volunteer. Uh, and so it gives you a lot of data. But most importantly is that no longer, Danny, no longer, okay, are you going to be sending out <laughs> at 50 people at a time, all right? And, all right. and you're no longer are you going to have to say, oh, I got to take this name off the list. Oh, I got to add this name to the list because <laughs> we're going to just make life easy for you. And they and it does it all for free. I mean, really, it's just great. I mean, and well, I, yeah. Now, if you have any questions afterwards, anything I can lend a hand to, uh, just make sure, you know, I'm always here for you. Again, There's that's MailChimp and Constant Contact. I think for your purposes, I think MailChimp is, is going to be right up your alley and it's super easy to get started. And again, it's free, so it's definitely worth a shot. It's going to save you all that time. With that time, um, make sure that you're doing something like uh, going over to commando.com or you're getting our free newsletter because this way we always keep that tech know-how going. And thanks for your call today, Daddy. Hey, huge thanks for tuning in, folks. And if you've got a question that's burning a hole in your brain, just drop me a line. Head over to commando.com, with a K, of course, and tap email Kim. Yes, I do read every single question. Now, for tech insights you can't afford to miss, grab my free daily newsletter over at getkim.com.